House of Wolves in general is going to make the Crucible experience that much better. So we're across the board doubling rewards, reps, mark, glimmer, engrams. We're giving players a new daily featured playlist reward package just for playing in the daily featured playlist. All of those things tie together to make the Crucible the most rewarding it's been ever. When the Fallen sought to destroy us, I protected the reef. The five new story missions take us on a quest to find and capture Skolas and bring him to justice. The reef opens. This is a new social space with new characters that players interact with. We have new story missions that take place across the different destinations. We have a new strike, which takes place on the moon in a fallen catch. And we have the Prison of Elders, which takes place in a brand new environment that's part of the reef itself. Widow's Court is the first time we're seeing what we call the European Dead Zone. Ancient crumbling cathedrals, small European city streets, great for long sight lines. It's an asymmetric map, super fun. Black Shield takes place on Phobos, which is the moon uh, of Mars, and it's gigantic, it's awesome. Like, it's a symmetrical map, plays awesome for control and skirmish. And then Thieves' Den takes place on Venus, and it's inside an active volcano. And then there's Time Keeper, which is exclusive for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 owners. It is a small map, it's great for rumble, it's great for skirmish, it takes place out in the deserts of Mars. There's crazy Vex architecture there that Guardians just don't understand what the Vex are doing. It really is an amazing competitive map. The Prison of Elders is a combat-focused activity where you take on increasingly more difficult waves of enemies and culminating in a boss fight. There's a match-made version where every time you play, it's randomized. You also don't know which modifiers you're gonna get. Sometimes they'll help you, uh, sometimes they'll hurt you as well. There's also something we call the critical objective, which appears in certain rounds. It's not only just about the combat with enemies, but it's about these extra challenges that we throw at you, and if you don't succeed, you'll wipe and have to start over. There's also a more difficult challenge mode version. Rather than it being randomized, we have a curated list of every round. And then there's a brand new boss for each of the challenge modes that has its own unique mechanics. Even if you've never played Crucible before, the Trials is a really cool place to start. Bring in your friends, it's power enabled, so you wanna bring your best gear. All those things coalesce in this really amazing way with our new game mode that's part of Trials. It's called Elimination. It's a 3v3 game mode, very intense, very communication oriented. It's round based, very short rounds, two minute rounds. When you go down, you are down until you're revived or until the next round takes over. First team to five wins. It's very intense, very competitive. We're really excited about it. They will feel my wrath. I can't wait to jump into the Crucible, jump into Trials of Osiris for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 owners. Remember, Timekeeper is there. House of Wolves launches on May 19th for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3.